story time with Shanae and Anna Lynn. Is that what your name is? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's, it's not Annie Wilson, by the way. I decided to drag somebody else here. Come on over. Now my, now my That's time. That's your cue. Get in here. Yeah. Hi, guys. Matt has joined us for this video. I'm so excited. I have was able to drag you here to be a part of this video. I know everyone's going to be super thrilled. I'm glad I was able to be dragged. Well. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a story time, and it's going to be a story time about all of our respective auditioning experiences all right. for a little show called 90210. You guys heard of it? I feel like you should start. You had just done Nip Tuck with Ryan Murphy. Kind of a big deal. Yes, I was actually on Nip Talk and the writer strike happened. Mm -hmm. And my agent was like, there are no more auditions because there are no more scripts because we are on a strike. So she sent me an audition. I was like, I would never do this show. <laughs> and how old were you? 12. Um, <laughs> she's only, <laughs> she's only 22 now. I was 20. So she was like, okay, don't be a bitch. Just go in for the audition. And I was like, why would I waste their time? Why would I go in for something that I know I'm not going to do and waste their time and my time and I have to drive to Burbank? So no. <laughs> Burbank's not that far. Guys. I just like go to the audition. And then she she knew me very well. So I had a small crush on Tom Welling. And by small, I mean huge. And by Tom huge, Welling I mean, I had him on my wall. Superman. Too. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, guys, I apologize. I'm going to have to leave now. Today <laughs> I just disrespected I'm my sorry, childhood. Tom. I loved him. Okay, oh. I was 13. He was really tall and hot. That's so your type, though. So, <laughs> so she's like, you know, Debbie casts Smallville, and I was like, so this is literally why I went to the audition initially because I had no idea because about you yeah. because wanted I'm, to end up. That's like a love Smallville. interest on Smallville for Tom Holland. Superman! Yeah. So, Duh. I figured they could throw one more blonde to spice it up. Okay. Got it. That did not happen, um, but I did get 90210 offered to me. And I was just like, you know when you don't care. <laughs> That's always That's when, when you, you book the job. Yeah. I would Every time. Right. Before the word extra was a thing, I was extremely extra. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I just decided to call Ethan E. I have no idea why. During the audition, <laughs> she swallowed an ice cube or something, and she started to get choked up, and I was like, I'm doing my lines, and I'm watching my wonderful casting director turning red, and veins popping out of her neck, and I was like, would you like to stop? And <laughs> she was like, <laughs> oh my like, I'm so sorry, I didn't want to mess up your seat, you're doing so good. And I was like, I was like, I'd rather you not die in yeah. my audition, so wow. good. So Save she yourself. Was, she was so sweet, I love her. They offered me the show, but I was having what I, you know, you guys know, I was having my young life crisis, I called it. What does that mean? <laughs> I need a break. Tell us more about I didn't that. want to be an actress anymore. I was going to work at Starbucks, and I was going to have a new, find a new passion because I was over this town and over these people and over these stupid shows, like, no, 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 And you got a job. And then they yeah. thought I was negotiating, and I learned a very good negotiating tactic. tactic. Yeah. Um, say no, and then say no again, and say no again. The reason I ended up doing it was because I talked to my old acting partner in New York who had educated me on human trafficking. Uh -huh. I called her and she was like, you're an idiot! <laughs> you have an amazing opportunity! I got roped into it and then I ended up having a terrible time for five years. Yeah, Did with these know? horrible payments. I absolutely low. <laughs> <laughs> we had way too much fun. I remember they were casting they were casting Liam. It was supposed to be a recurring role with the possibility of being an extra. Um, something <laughs> uh, with the possibility, possibility being, a, being an extra. Uh, 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 so it's recurring, but it can suck. We're just going to take away all of your lives. <laughs> <It's, laughs> like, we don't want you to like, talk. With the possibility of being a regular. And I can't remember exactly what happened, but I, I remember that. You were awesome. I, I, think I, was the, I think I was the only one that had looked like at a few guys before me. And didn't find the guy because that's like a yeah, but he had I did so blues. many screen tests with different guys, oh, you did. like so chemistry. You did. Oh, you had to chemistry read because they, ca they, they cast me like I as opposite her. They had me chemistry test with like three different guys, I think, that wow. obviously didn't end up doing it because you did. Um, but they they were like they were really like this Struggle. role was they were like freaking out about. They needed someone that could handle her. <laughs> Which is no easy feat. Which apparently was him. 
at the time I did, and then I, I quickly learned that no one can handle <laughs> no. Annalyn McCord. Aww, uh, okay. I'll pay you later. <laughs> okay, right, right. Tested, and that's like in front of a bunch of people that work at the network. I got cast, and I don't really remember other details. And then one of my first scenes was at the the W the Hotel. W, yeah. One of my first one of my first times working with Annalyn, like just you and I. <laughs> This was like San Pedro, down in this like port area. I mean, it's late. It's like it, we worked until seven a.m. Okay. Yeah, we were, one, we, the sun came up on the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it had to have been at least three or four a.m. or something. We were in the car, you know, and they, they shoot this way, and then they shoot this way, and then this way. Well, when it came to my close up, when I had to say my lines <laughs> oh, and have another, I know where this is going, and have another actor to interact with, <laughs> she decided she wanted to sleep. <laughs> So one of my first I'm experiences. I was sitting straight up. <laughs> I'm like, and, and you know what it was? I remember this scene. It was like one of the first scenes where Liam sort of like tells a little bit about himself. <laughs> right. Like it's like sort of a poor. You your, got a meaningful dialogue yeah, yeah. for the first time. Yeah, it's a meaningful pour your heart out sort of scene, and she's literally <laughs> over there doing this. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think I told you this before. Oh I called my, my manager the next day and I was like, dude, I don't know what I got myself into. I'm like, I'm like, like, Ow, I, can't, oh my goodness. I can't act with this girl. She, she won't even stay awake. She won't like, say her lines with me. Oh my God. So I was like, I don't know what That's you guys That's such a good story. Oh, yeah. But it turned out all right. Everything oh my turned God. Out okay. It turned out all right because then he got to do a majority of his scenes with me. And yeah, so she did yeah. not fall asleep one time. Never <laughs> fell asleep one time. You had a crazy audition to get into it because you yes. were like... So you put in all the effort in the world. I did. I desperately tried to and get had to change <laughs> countries in order. I did. To do I mean, this was, but your role. I mean, it was like the role. Yeah, I mean, it, it was. was like, it was the show. It was. Yeah, it was the, the I Brenda. Think, yeah, yeah, the Brenda character of the show, and I almost didn't put it down not for the same reason as Anna Lynn, because I was like, nobody's gonna watch my tape. <laughs> I was interning at a fashion television network in Canada, which was a really big deal to me at the time, and I was like. I am not gonna leave work early to go and put this tape down that nobody is gonna watch. You know, some kid in Canada, like, no. But I finished work just in time. I learned my lines in the cab on the way to the self tape wow. place. Oh my God. And I now, put, was, it, was it a lot of lines? Do you remember? It was like, I think just a couple of scenes. Okay. And I put. Are the, you a good memorizer? Yes, okay. I have a very See, good no, memory. See, I'm not. That's like a. Yeah. No, I have a very good memory, short term. So I that was fine. Put it down. Thought, okay, whatever. Like, I sent so many tapes to LA before. No, never heard anything back. And then I got a call the next day saying, you're flying to Los Angeles tomorrow. Wow. And you are testing for 90210, which is like the last step before you book the job. But when I got to LA, I was told that they actually wanted me to test for two roles. That's so, right. I totally forgot yeah, that. Yeah. So I was testing for Silver and Annie. And Silver was the one that I really wanted because she was cool and edgy and like, you know, punk rock. She like, had the, cool girl. like the blog at that time. Yes, yeah. totally. So it was like, I was like, this is meant for me. Like, yeah. this is the role that I want. And I had to go in and test for Silver first. And Jessica Strapp was there. That's when I met Strau. Mm -hmm. And I'd never done a screen test that was that big. There was about 30 suits sitting there. It's very staring, super intimidating. So intimidating. And, and they never react. No, they show no emotion. And I forgot my line. Like completely. Oh, no. Like not even like, uh, and then recover. No, I blanked. blanked entirely. I think I was like, I'm so sorry. I looked at it again, whatever. I did it. I left the room. The other girls were going into tests while I had a moment to like look over my Annie lines. And I was just breaking down. Like it was like everything was perfect I, for Annie, which was so perfect because then they finished. I had to go in for Annie and the scene is this emotional. She's crying scene, talking to her dad, being like, I don't belong here. I just want to go home. And I was, <laughs> was like, perfect. I was crying. I was like, I don't belong here. And you're like seeing emotional reactions from these suits because like it was authentic. They were just watching a little girl cry basically. <laughs> Then I found out that Hilary Duff had actually, I didn't get the silver role, shocker, Jessica Straub did, but Hilary Duff had been offered the role of Annie. Oh, wow. So I had to wait a month to find out that Hilary, thank you, Hilary, turned down the job. Wow. And I ended up getting offered the role of Annie. Wow. That <laughs> That's how that happened. All the press for the beginning of the show, was that was huge for you guys. I mean, huge. you guys were everywhere. 
You did get swapped out from season two promo. <laughs> <laughs> with, with just my head. Yeah. You, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, that I know. I don't, know, I don't know if they know. It's a season, season two, two thing. It was the artwork. And like, there's a picture of me doing my tie, but it's not me. It's <laughs> Dustin Milligan. I didn't think it looked that weird. It's, no, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, look at it. You I'm gonna, to I'm gonna pull, pull it up now. You need to put it, pull and, it up yeah. right when you say anything, it looked weird. <laughs> Do it. I will. Do it. That was a good story. Yeah, time. it worked. It worked. Annalyn's gonna go sue some people. <laughs> Matt's got a baby to get back to. I got a black leather jacket to put on. Yeah, he's got, he's got to go put on his leather jacket. Today is gonna go get a bird. Yeah. And he's got a baby. Not my baby. <laughs> no. Not my baby. Not his baby. And his baby's not mine. Me and Matt still aren't married. There's sorry, that. Sorry to just... Clearing it up once and for all. <laughs> yep. Bye, guys. See ya.